The problem is that our country is very poor and the region of Montana is even worse. There is a huge amount of unemployment. At the moment, I'm considered to be unemployed. For six months out of every year, I work for a company called Ecoterra, where we gather strawberries and raspberries. But the remaining six months of the year, we have to look for things to do because it's not continuous work. There is no work to be found in the area. The government, they don't do anything to provide work. So I would like to start my own business. I want to be able to do something with uh, my own hands that would secure a future for myself and for my family for years to come. My name is Valentin Kostov, and my role is to be the consultant and mentor to those in the target group. We feel very responsible that we must do something, that we must do more to help people so they can have more qualifications and access information. Hello, my name is Kamelia Munelska, and I'm a consultant at this ministry center. I was a part of birthing the idea and of its coming to fruition here. I'm a member of the transitional period of Bulgaria as it passed from communism into democracy and that, that long transitional period in between. All of these years in ministry, I've been involved in social projects that have been about helping people but the Lord has placed on my heart now that I must be involved in projects that help people to help themselves. I praise the Lord that we have already made the first step forward. We've been registered as agricultural producers and we are moving even closer to our dream of having a fruit tree orchard. Thanks to the center and especially to Camelia, she was with us continuously as the center's representative. She went with us to get registered as an agricultural producer. She went with us from one government office to another. It was hard. There were so many people. We were running from this place to that place. Every other day we had to go and take documents here and there. But because of her work and because of what's happening, we were able to succeed and we are able to realize this dream. We are convinced that this project will have an impact on our region and on the economically destitute part of the country. I really believe in our project. I believe that this is going to become a reality and it will have an effect in changing people's lives and helping them to be happier. For 10 generations, no one in my family has ever owned any property or land. And I want to say how happy I am that I and my wife, we own our own piece of land. 12 deckers. And my hope is that one day we will have 100 deckers of land. And from that work, I won't have to work anywhere else. I can only work for myself. And that from that land, I could feed my family. We can take care of ourselves in this way.